New at 6, if you've got a need for speed, then you'll like this next one. Almost 32 years ago, a world record was broken in the air. That's hard to believe. Philip Townsend has more on the fastest cross-country flight ever made. If you boarded a flight at Norfolk International and landed in Los Angeles, California, that flight would be about five hours on a commercial airline. On May 6, 1990, we'd push our air speed limits to the brink and cut that trip down to a time that's hard to believe. But let's back up. In 1966, what was then Lockheed introduced an innovative new aircraft called the SR-71 Blackbird. The long-range, high-altitude aircraft was so fast it could outpace missiles and to this day remains one of the fastest planes we've ever put in the sky. At the time, there were other aircraft capable of reaching speeds over 2,000 miles per hour, but only in short bursts. In 1990, the Blackbird would show the world the power of its record-breaking speed. Lieutenant Colonels Ed Yielding and Joseph Vita took off from Palmdale, California at 4.30 a.m. Before the cross-country flight, which was to turn over the aircraft to the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C., the SR-71 would need to circle around the Pacific Ocean to get enough space to get a running start. Shortly after the afterburners were lit, police started getting calls from concerned residents over what they thought was an explosion or an earthquake. But it was just the sonic boom from the Blackbird, hitting supersonic speeds as it cruised across states in just minutes. Yielding and Vita would land at Dulles International Airport in front of a crowd of thousands. A 2,300-mile trip, one hour and four minutes later shattering the world record for fastest coast-to-coast -coast flight. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. The SR-71's last flight was in October of 1999.